Hello everyone, it is I, Brandon Wynn, back again with D&D and Me. So, I'm going to be doing this a little bit backwards from what I normally do. I'm going to be going from the Wormling up mostly because I have to do stuff today and it requires me to possibly take a phone call. So, I'm going to try and make as many videos as possible dealing with the quicker ones up before I do the longer video. So, just want to let you guys know. So, I'm going to be a little bit offset. But, uh... We're just going to get straight into it because mostly, as you can see, I got a lot of shit to do. Uh, I still got my fucking work lunch bag on my bed and I just got a lot of shit to do. So, <laughs> uh, thank God I don't plan on getting this fucking monetized. Uh, I literally couldn't anyways. It's not under the proper OGL stuff. I can't monetize this. Uh, so, the Gold Dragon is what we are currently on and we're on the Gold Dragon Wormling. The most prissy of the fucking... Uh, metallic dragons. The gold dragon wormling is a medium dragon, lawful good, has a very beefy armor class of 17 natural armor. If you decide to put armor on that son of a bitch, I don't see why I wouldn't just add to it. Uh, like some boulet armor, or bullet, boulet, boulet, I, I don't remember how to say it. I gotta watch AJ Pickett's fucking video on it again. But it has a average hit point of 60, 8d8 plus 24, it has a movement speed of 30 feet, flight speed of 60 feet, and a surprising swim speed of 30 feet. I didn't realize they had a swim speed. Uh, they have a, a strength of 19 plus 4, a dexterity of 14 plus 2, constitution of 17 plus 3, intelligence of 14 plus 2, wisdom of 11 plus 0, and charisma of 16 plus 3. They're proficient in saving throws of dexterity, plus 4, constitution, 5, and charisma, Five, or Wisdom 2 Charisma 5, meaning that as a plus 2 proficiency bonus, it has proficient skills in Perception 4 and Stealth 4, immune to fire, uh, don't understand why it has a swim speed then, uh, has blind sight up to 10 feet, dark vision up to 60 feet, and a passive perception of 14. Still don't understand why it has a swim speed. I guess because it looks kind of aquatic. It only speaks Draconic, and it's a challenge rating 3, 700 experience points. It's amphibious, breathe air and water, so I'm assuming this is amphibious. Uh, it has a melee weapon. Wow, fuck, I completely screwed that up. It has a bite, which is a melee weapon attack, and it's a plus six to hit, reach of five feet, one target only, nine average, one d10, plus four piercing damage. Uh, and then it has two breath weapons, which recharge on a d6 roll of five or six, and it can use one of the following. The fire breath. The dragon exhales, uh, exhales fire in a 15-foot cone. Each creature within that area must make a DC 13 dexterity saving throw or take 22 average 40 10 fire damage or half as much on a successful one. I don't understand why it's not acid because it's amphibious. That would make way more sense. But, you know, gold dragons, give them a radiant breath. Why not do that? It's supposed to be the closest one, like, directly under Bahamut. So, you know, like, they're, they're in the hierarchy bullshit. Uh, and then there's the weakening breath. The dragon exhales a gas in a 15-foot cone. Each creature in that area must succeed on a DC 13 strength saving throw or have disadvantage on strength-based attack rolls, strength checks, or strength saving throws for one minute. A creature can repeat the saving throw at the end of its turns, ending the effect on its success. That's when you have finesse, bigotch! Uh, that's when you mostly just do finesse attacks because, uh, you know, it works. But anyway... Uh, that is the Gold Dragon Wormling, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video, mostly because I'm uh, surprisingly going to be continuing these videos, not the OGL business with WotC has finished, and uh, yeah, uh, I'll see all of you in the next video. Peace.